It's going to be the most fuel efficient, capable, and advanced Wrangler that's ever been produced. While the exterior and interior have been completely redesigned, and so it's just staying true that Jeep brand DNA, you'll notice that signature seven sided grille looks different in the past, but it is paying homage to the CJ models. The bottle headlamps have also been improved. You can now get a longer lasting and energy efficient LED light in there. The windshield is featuring a steeper rake that's going to improve your aerodynamics and reduce your wind noise. And then it's much easier to fold down and put back up. This year you'll notice the four brackets or bolts at the top instead of taking off the side. It's also still going to have your skip plate so hooks to that winch capable seal front bumper. And there are several lightweight aluminum components this year, like the hood and the doors. That's going to help reduce the mass and increase your fuel economy. For 2018, there are two engine choices. There are, is going to be that standard 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine with 285 horsepower. A new 2 liter turbocharged inline 4 cylinder engine is also available. That's going to be 270 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque. And you're looking at about 24 miles to the gallon on the highway with that new 4 cylinder. For 2019, they will be offering a 3 liter Eco Diesel. That's the same Eco Diesel that's on our brand Cherokee and our Ram 1500. And for 2020, there will be a hybrid option, but I don't know too much about that yet, so you'll have to stay tuned. Now, the all new Wrangler is still going to give you that best in class off roading capability. It does still feature that body on frame construction and front and rear solid axles. The Sport model will still have the command track four wheel drive system. The Sahara models have a new select track full time uh, two speed transfer case system. And then there's a Rubicon, which is on stage with me, that will feature the Rock Track four to one transfer case with heavy duty Dana front and rear locking differentials and an electronic sway bar disconnect. The Rubicon will also feature a 33 inch tire, throw a 2 inch lift on it that can fit a 35 cleanly underneath those fender flips too. Now moving inside, they did redesign that interior. They wanted to add some more premium elements that our Jeep customers have grown to love over the years. You can get the seats in leather or a cloth and a black or heritage tan. You will notice on the Rubicon model, it does come with that red detailing, so the red stitching and the red dash, that's going to be exclusive to the Rubicon and I don't think you can change that. You can also get the front seats heated, the steering wheel heated, a push button start, and a remote control start this year. Uh, as far as technology goes, you can now get the largest 8.4 inch Uconnect color touchscreen that offers Bluetooth connectivity and Sirius XM radio. Also for 2018, will be Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Safety has also been greatly improved. You can now get blind spot monitoring, rear cross back detection warning, rear park assist. There's also a spare tire, or spare tire, obviously a spare tire, but a, a backup camera mounted on the spare tire, and they have put down the spare tire a little bit as well, which will increase your visibility on the back. Now, last thing I'll talk about are the doors that you see. Now, those are not factory doors. Those are going to be an optional door aftermarket through Mopar I'm hearing around 2019. The cutout in the door is going to be for visibility if you are off-roading. So you can see a train that you can see a cliff or rock or water. And there will be an insert that you can throw in there too, which will keep it weatherproof. Two doors are starting at 26000 this year, four doors are starting at 30000 and of course you can definitely get into the 50s. If you have any other questions, my name is Cassie, I'd be happy to answer them for you. We do have product specialists on the floor, they're also out there to answer those questions. And of course, we always encourage you to check out your local Jeep dealer or Jeep.com for further information. Also, by, until 5 o'clock today, we do have a ride and drive event going out, outside with some of our FCA vehicles and that you see as well. Everyone, thank you and enjoy the rest of your day here at the LA Auto Show. Thank you.